<gasps> this is what it looks like. It's got really angry. Cottage cheese cookie dough. Oh, bother. Wow. Terrified. Oh, cheese on a stick. I keep seeing versions of this TikTok on my For You page with the glass, with the clouds in it, and I desperately want to try this myself. So we're gonna make a smoothie today. I'm gonna decorate this with some yogurt. And we're gonna cross our fingers for the best. In this particular TikTok, she makes a mango, orange, and coconut smoothie. I couldn't find any coconut flakes, but I did find desiccated coconut, and it's getting whizzed in a blender anyway. So I think we should be okay. Let's chop. First, <gasps> no! My mango is bruised. Absolutely devastated. It seems ripe. Oh, I love the smell of mango. <gasps> oh, I do not like the feeling of chopping into the pit by accident. It goes right through me. This is the best part of filming cooking videos. I get to eat while I film. Yum. I feel like I'm filleting a fish and I've never filleted a fish in my life. Actions have been performed by a professional. Woo! look at that. We have a whole mango in here. So now I'm gonna chop up an orange. I'm actually not entirely sure how to get an orange out. How to get an orange out? My brain has just gone. I cannot think about a, a better way to do this. Oh, wait. Had a little moment there, a little brain fart. Oh my goodness. That is a huge pip. Look at this. Okay, it doesn't look that big on camera. Now time for the coconut. This is what I bought. It's desiccated coconut. Oh, that is strong. I'm pretty sure it's the same thing, so I'm just gonna... <gasps> I'm not gonna put that much in. I mean, it's done now. What juice did she put in? Let me refer to this video again. Coconut water. Interesting. Let me just pour some water in there. Water going in. And now we blend. <laughs> Lolly noisy. I think our blender's broken. That smells really not good. I bought a glass specially for this. I have my glass. Let me get some yogurt. Oh no. It's kind of cloud-like. Wait, I'm getting better at this. That's not great. They look way worse from the inside than they do the outside. Oh, look at that. Oh gosh, that looks like a mess. Listen, I'm no artist, but I think from this angle, it doesn't look terrible. I'm gonna give myself a pat on the back and we're gonna fill this with some juice and see if it looks as good as hers. I'm a little nervous for the pour. I feel it's just gonna ruin the clouds. Here we go. How does it look? <gasps> I think it looks really good. I personally think for a first attempt, I'm gonna give myself a little pat on the back. Unsure whether I should drink this or not because I think our blender's broken and it smells of fire in here right at this moment. Mm. As you all know, I absolutely love cooking. It is one of my favorite things to do, but something I don't love doing is food shopping, especially this time of year when it's cold and miserable outside and a lot of the time raining and I don't want to go out, which brings me nicely onto our sponsor of today's video, which is Hello Fresh, who deliver fresh and yummy food to your door with super easy to follow recipes included in the box. And now that we're officially in winter, Hello Fresh have added a ton of yummy, warming recipes to their menu for you to choose from. And they've given me a freaking great discount code for you guys, which I am excited to share with you. So I will have a link in my description down below. If you go ahead, click that, head over to their website and then choose from their yummy recipes. These are just some of the choices that I have made for Nick and I this week. And then when you get to check out use the code that I have on the screen to get 60% off your first box but wait for it 60% of your first box and then 25% off the next two months worth of boxes that's such a good discount that's absolutely amazing and that will see you all the way through until Christmas and then delivered to your door you will get your HelloFresh box which has in it everything you need for each meal labeled with a number that corresponds to a recipe card where you have a picture of what you're making all of the ingredients that are included and then the instructions to make the dish it is so easy they have quick cooks they have vegetarian options they have family options there's something for everybody so if you haven't already joined HelloFresh as I said there is a link in my description along with a code to get you a huge huge discount and I couldn't recommend them more. In this TikTok she said that this snack will itch your brain so 
I'd love to have my brain itched. We're gonna try it. It is yogurt frozen peaches, which I put in the freezer last night, grated, and then a few different toppings. I do love a peach. And these peaches came in a can, which means you know they came soaked in a little bit of sugar and should taste absolutely delicious. Let's get to work. Yogurt in the bowl. My peaches are frozen and all of the sugar juice that they were sat in has stuck them together. We're grating. It looks amazing, amazing, great. I think I might stop there. Woo! She did a squeeze of orange juice. Oh my gosh, it's melted it all. It's all gone melted. Yum. Some pistachios. I'm gonna briefly wash the lime. This is a lemon. We're doing some lemon zest. A little bit of this. This is what it looks like. That is insane. This actually tastes so good. I'm struggling a teeny bit with my sensitive teeth. It is a little bit cold, but it tastes really freaking good. Mm. I'm gonna rate that a solid seven out of 10. And my favorite bit is when I keep getting little lumps of honey in with the peach. Onwards and upwards, I am so excited for this next one. Oh, I'm starving. But this takes Brie to a whole new level. This is Brie coated and dipped in a crunchy outer shell. In my eyes, at least, there is no way that this can't work and that this can't go well and that this can't taste delicious. So I'm just really excited. I've got my panko breadcrumbs, my eggs, my flour, some oil so that I could fully deep fry this cheese and some barbecue sticks. Let me prep the oil pan. I shall use this one. And I am always so terrified to work with hot oil, I do not like it. What am I doing here? How does this work? Have I broken it? I've had too many horror stories, but I do have long sleeves on. In the meantime, let's prep our coating station. On one station, we want some flour. On the other station, we want some breadcrumbs, panko breadcrumbs. I don't know what the panko bit means. If anyone knows why they're panko breadcrumbs and not just breadcrumbs, let me know. And then we're going to whisk some eggs into a bowl. Two eggs. I think that's enough for now. Practicing hygiene. Open here. Easy cheesy. <gasps> it says Costello, but for a second I thought it said Camembert and I was like, no. Okay. Oh, that is a very, very strong brie. I don't know if I'm ready for this, but this was the only round brie in the shop. <gasps> it smells so strong. I don't know if I can eat this. anywhere that this is like the strongest brie known to man. Wow, wow. Now we're going to take our skewers. Oop. There is my brie. And now we chop it. And this is where I feel like I'm just gonna hit into the sticks. That's not good. I'm gonna pull these out just a tiny bit. I think they're too far in. And then this way. I think that went pretty well. And you can already see the delights. Oh, a little cheese on a stick. Look at this little cheese on a stick. <gasps> I really like it. Let me just move this very dangerous plate over here momentarily. Let's whisk some eggs. Whiskey, whiskey, whiskey. Flour, egg, breadcrumbs in the oil. Flour, bread, egg crumbs in the oil. Some flour. Oh wait, how do you cover the back of it though? I swear he didn't cover the back of it. Egg, breadcrumbs. Meant to be aiming for 160 degrees. We're at 60. If the bottom half of me is blurred out, it's because you can see my pants underneath my uh, pajamas. Because I have a feeling these jammies are ever so slightly see-through. 120. I'm going to put shoes on. I've just got a bad feeling about this. <gasps> Why are my shoes outside in the rain? This is devastating news. Well, I can't put those on, can I? I'm gonna put on Nick's funny little croppy thingies. I don't know what these are. I don't like dealing with hot oil. Did I tell you that? <gasps> what if it just falls off? We're going. It's working. How long do I go for? Instructions unclear. It's got really angry. We have one cheese parcel. Let's do a second. <gasps> they actually look really good. Flour coating, egg coating into the panko breadcrumbs. Can I leave this unattended in the pan? Put those in there. I feel like I'm working at a restaurant. 
Oh gosh, I feel like they're ready already. I'm on a roll here. I'm on a cheese roll. Oh bother. Mistakes have been made. I was getting too cocky. Final two cheeses to go. And then we can test if this actually worked. We don't even know if this tastes nice yet. In fact, I'm a little bit worried that it, that it will taste really cheesy. Two eggs was definitely enough. I thought I was gonna need like four. And into the pan of breadcrumbs. Final two. Let's get my hand up the cover. How ridiculous. Look at this. Look at my cheese plate. I am so excited for this. I think it's cool enough to handle. And then can we try and break this apart? Oh my gosh, it's like a puff. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. That is some strong brie. Wow. I don't know if I like that, but look at this puff. I don't know if I like, I think I like it. Oh, wow. It is very, 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 very strong brie, but it tastes, I cannot complain. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give the cheese an eight out of 10, but if the cheese was a little milder, 10 out of 10. I think this next TikTok is the one I am most excited about. You can make cottage cheese cookie dough cottage cheese cookie dough and apparently it's really good so i've got myself some cottage cheese i don't even think i like cottage cheese i'm gonna try a little bit because i don't even think i oh, this goes off on my birthday so basics are cottage cheese maple syrup vanilla in a blender and then you add to it almond flour protein powder and chocolate chips two comments to make one couldn't find almond flour so I have ground almonds and I think they're similar enough and then protein powder do you know how expensive protein powder is because I didn't I have never in my life bought protein powder and I thought it was gonna be I don't know how much I thought it was gonna be this was 15 pounds and I don't like that it was 15 pounds so this better taste good so drum roll please let's make some cottage cheese cookie dough let's try a little bit of <gasps> there's a whole lump there Oh. It's actually quite mild. Okay. I don't know if you saw that, but that went straight in the tub. Eight ounces of cottage cheese. Oh, it's really quite gross. Two tablespoons of maple syrup. One, two. A teaspoon of vanilla. Ooh. Oh, that smells great. A little bit strong. <laughs> Five tablespoons of this. I can't open this. One scoop of protein. What is a scoop of protein? <gasps> oh my gosh, it comes with a scoop. I guess this is a scoop of protein. I'm gonna add this in. Wow. That is a lot of protein powder. It's not really coming together. Oh, maybe it is. <gasps> maybe it is. It looks more like mousse than cookie dough. And now we have chocolate chips. This is what it looks like. It looks kind of cookie dough-esque. Let's try cottage cheese cookie dough. I am not blown away by this. I'm actually quite disappointed. Why did so many people say this was good? This is not that great. I can think of a multitude of nicer snacks. Oh, I also use chocolate protein powder instead of vanilla protein powder. But the problem isn't with the chocolate flavouring. It's not disgusting by any means, but it definitely tastes like protein powder. So I feel like maybe if you're a gym goer and you're a protein drinker, you may be so used to that flavour that that tastes like cookie dough to you. As a non-protein powder intaker, that does not taste like cookie dough. It just tastes like protein powder. This TikTok has 54 million views. 54 million. So we're gonna try it. We're gonna see what it's like. Now I did purchase some nori. You all know I hate this stuff. I had to buy it, it's part of it. For this I have pre-prepped. I made myself some salmon last night and I made myself some rice because it looks from the video like she uses pre-cooked and cooled salmon and rice mixes it and puts it in the microwave with an ice cube. Salmon on a plate, mushed into a bowl, rice, baking paper, and an ice cube. We've, we've got this, we can do this. Salmon on a plate, mushed. Oh, look at the mushedness. 
our front door is not that soundproof. So I'm pretty sure the postman just heard me go, look at that mushness into a bowl. Oh, she literally just puts it in there as a lump. Whoa, whoa. I don't know if this is gonna work. I need an ice cube. Oh no, oh yeah, no, no, the chip. Uh oh, oh dear, oh no. These are the only ice cubes that we have at the moment. Um, and it's quite a lot bigger than her ice cube. However, she does discard the ice cube after microwaving. So I'm just gonna plonk that in there. Then she sort of covers it in baking paper, but it looks like really fancy baking paper. This is all I have. I'm gonna smush that in there. I think I did a good job. Every time I go on TikTok now, I have to take a breath. Do you want to continue to TikTok? Yes, I do. There are no instructions on this video. So I'm gonna go for, I'm gonna put it in the microwave for two minutes. Rice is out the microwave. I mean, there's steam coming off of it from there. Whoa, that's hot. We go straight to soy sauce. This is hot sauce, so I don't think I'm gonna love this. How is she squeezing this with one hand? God, is she, she's so strong. Gosh, this is not easy to do. My hand is shaking. We've got a brand new mayo. I did not think I was a clumsy person until I started filming myself. I'm pretty clumsy. She did a lot nicer than that. And then she mixes it all together completely. I feel like maybe I want a little bit more sauce, you know. Then she just cracks open an avocado and it's just perfectly ripe. Ooh, the avocado's okay. And we're just gonna lay this on here. Right, chopsticks. <gasps> I just snapped these and it like snapped into my other fingers and that was painful. Can I use chopsticks? Yes. Can I use them as well as she does? Probably not. So she takes her little piece of paper, lays it on top of the avocado and then uses it to like pick up. Are we ready? In with that mix, that paper isn't so bad. The avocado is right. The rice and the salmon are good. I would eat this for lunch. I don't love nori, but apart from that, that's pretty good. I'm gonna give it a solid eight out of 10. I hope you enjoy this video and I will see you very soon. Bye.